Hello everyone and welcome again back to my home kitchen. So I'm very excited today to bring you my first ever dessert recipe. So today we're going to make green tea tiramisu. So instead of using the typical espresso or coffee, we're going to incorporate green tea powder and also I'm going to be using white and milk chocolates. So I hope you enjoy this video. Let's crack on. Start by separating two medium eggs into separate mixing bowls. Whisk the egg yolks, adding 15 grams of granulated sugar little by little. Once the sugar has dissolved and you have reached a thickish consistency, add the 250 grams of mascarpone cheese. Mix until smooth and creamy. Next, whisk the egg whites, again adding 15 grams of sugar, little by little. Whisk until you achieve a firm peak. Alternatively, use an electric whisk. Next, add one teaspoon of cognac or rum to your whites and mix in. Once you reach a firm peak, you should be able to turn the bowl upside down without any of the peaks falling out. Next, take half of your whites and add them to your yolk mix. Combine the two gently. It's important to avoid knocking the fluffiness from the whites. Once mixed, return to the bowl containing the egg white. Mix carefully again to combine the two. Into a container, put through a sieve approximately two tablespoons of green tea powder. Then add some hot water around 80 degrees Celsius, little by little, whisking constantly until you get a smooth and somewhat frothy finish. Next, take some white and milk chocolate from the fridge. Then grate. Take some Italian sponge fingers. I use around eight fingers for two servings. Break them up into pieces and then cover them with the green tea. Take the fingers and place them into a container. In this video, I used a wine glass. Next, add some of the mascarpone mix. Sprinkle some of the white and milk chocolates. Repeat this process a further two times. Finally, top off with some dusting of green tea powder. So the tiramisu has been in the fridge for a couple of hours and it's just allowed each of the components to kind of set. I think the, uh, the flavours are much more pronounced. The cream is my favourite part so I've put in quite a lot compared to probably what others would like. It's completely down to your taste so you can add more chocolate or you can put less green tea, you can put more fingers in, it's completely up to you. I normally prefer eating dark chocolate to milk chocolate but in this particular case the green tea is quite bitter so just to balance off the flavour I've used milk chocolate and white chocolate which are quite sweet so I think it balances perfectly. Again you can use dark chocolate if you wish. So let's dig in. Try and get, as, try and get a bit of the fingers, the chocolate and the cream like so. Mm. It's not too sweet, so creamy. You've got the chunky shards on top, which give a little texture to the whole thing. And the sponge is nice and soft. You've got the bitterness from the green tea, and there's a hint of the 
liqueur in the cream. That's lovely. Thanks for watching everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video, until next time, bye bye!